In a world that profits greatly from our insecurity and is telling us just throwing all these things in our face on what you can do to be more beautiful, we kind of lose touch with our own unique beauty in a way. And while we're chasing these beauty standards, we're neglecting to become our own beauty standard and we're not looking like the best version of ourselves because we're doing what everyone else is doing. At the start of last year, I was getting lip fillers on tick. I was getting, you know, lip fillers each month and I was like paying it off over like a three month period. And I was getting lash extensions every two weeks. I was getting like spray tans every two weeks. I was doing all these different things, yet I wasn't feeling confident in myself. I was doing my makeup like everyone else does. And, and at the same time, I wasn't exactly honoring myself and my own natural beauty and enhancing my own unique features. So today I'd love to share with you how you can become your own beauty standard and how you can become the best version of yourself and how you can curate your beauty routine and your style and your hair and everything to your own unique features so that you're not chasing a beauty standard you're looking like the best version of yourself so i think one of the most important things is because we often like get influenced by these trends and various social media just thrown in our faces like wear these clothes and you'll be happy so one of the things that's helped me massively is to discover your color season because often we might see a colour that's trending at the moment, say, I don't know, say like neon pink or pa like pastel colours, something like that. And we see it on these models and we think, oh, they look so beautiful. But then we might wear it ourselves and then it doesn't suit us at all. So, so basically a colour season, it goes off your skin, your hair and your eye colour. And then the combination of the three, it basically shows you what your colour season is and... Maybe I'll go into this more in depth in another video, but you can do an online test. It's colorwise.me, so spelt like the American way, I'll put it up here. And you just put a picture of yourself and like you sort of show your, your hair, your eyes and your skin color. And that way you can figure out what colors actually suit you the best because it's crazy what colors can do for you. They can even make or break your look, you know. If you're wearing the wrong colours for yourself, colours that maybe don't flatter you, it can make you look very washed out and pale and ill looking. Whereas on the other hand, if you wear colours that flatter you, that suit you, it can make you look, you know, very bright and vibrant, radiant and healthy. So I'll show you a quick little example actually. So for me, for example, I don't know how well this will work, but because I'm a deep or well, I don't know, I'm somewhere in between deep autumn and deep winter, which basically means that colours of a deep hue sort of suit me better than colours that are like light and pastel -y. can get away with some, but anyways, so there's this pink, light pink blanket next to my face. It's not very flattering. It makes me look quite pale and washed out. You can instantly tell the difference. And then there's this like deep bluish turquoise and you can tell the difference well i don't know if you can on camera but <laughs> i don't know how well you can tell but basically if you figure out your color season and you start to wear the colors it doesn't mean you have to wear different colors per se but different shades and different opacities of colour so you might suit pastel colours better or maybe they don't flatter you at all I just recommend doing that test or I'll link in the description some videos to like colour analysis and how you can figure out your own because it's quite an in-depth topic and it's going to be a long video so the second thing I'd recommend is figuring out what your body type is because we could either be you know enhancing our best like our assets and our body wise or we could be completely covering them up so wearing clothes that suit your body type the best i don't know you can do like tests as well online but basically i don't know exactly how it works i'll put it on the screen and i'll also link in my description a test for your body type but 
it goes off the measurements of your body so there's like hourglass shape there's the rectangle there's like a triangle shape which is like if your hips are wider than up here there's many different shapes anyways and depending on your shape you could either be wearing clothes that are completely enhancing your body type and showing off the best like features of yourself or you could be wearing clothes that give you more of a like that cinch in your waist more and stuff for example for so long i didn't know anything about body types and i was wearing these very boxy like coats in the winter um, that just like completely hit my natural curves and made me look a bit more bulky than I actually am because I'm very short and I've got hourglass body so because I wasn't wearing coats basically with a belt or something that goes in at the waist I was kind of looking more bulky and it made me look a bit more on the heavier side whereas when you wear things that maybe cinch your waist in a bit more I don't know there's various things it depends on your body type and like I say it'll be far too long to go into all of it in this video but you can wear different things basically to show off your assets whether that be your curves or your legs or whatever that is just look into online and I'll put on the screen as well some different things to do with body types because it goes as deep as like what sort of neckline to wear say if you're an hourglass and Things like turtlenecks, I'll try and show you as an example, but so, I don't actually know why I've got this, I guess because it was a gift and <laughs> I don't really want to part with it. I was wearing it actually on this the first video on this channel, but a turtleneck just doesn't really do anything for me, whereas, you know, sweetheart necks, you know, v-necks, they do a lot more for an hourglass than a turtleneck say because it can make you look more top heavy and there's a lot to it anyway so just figuring out your body type and going from that what sort of things to wear and you know what sort of shape what sort of fit I don't know like even the types of skirts you wear in the types of sleeve there's a lot that goes into it so the third thing is what sort of hairstyle you should wear for your face so generally speaking if you've got quite asymmetrical features like I do you might find that it sort of balances out the asymmetry if you wear like a side part in. Also like if you've got, you know, a larger, you top heavy, top face heavy, I don't know exactly what it's called, I'll correct it, but um, if you've got like a larger forehead, like a full fringe can look really cute. But then if you've got like a bottom heavy face, like more of chin and stuff, to balance it out, like having no fringe sort of thing and then if you've got like quite symmetrical features that is a very beautiful asset because it's quite unique so having like a middle part in and just basically whatever you like and whatever suits your face the most there's also your face shape and yeah i'm not gonna overcomplicate it because there's a lot but just whatever hairstyle suits your face the best can really make a massive improvement so then going on from that, as we were talking about, you know, your unique features and how you can emphasise them more, you know, emphasise your favourite features and the unique features as well, because cause while we're in such a world that profits from, you know, insecurity and there's all these different beauty standards telling you how you should look, I think it's really unique have unique features in a way it's a beautiful thing to be able to embrace something that's unique to you that maybe other people don't have you know we're often told oh we should have a smaller nose rhinoplasty and stuff has been like promoted on social media it's like embracing those things about yourself if you've got something that you see as maybe a flaw turning that into something that's unique to you and also embracing and bringing out the qualities in yourself that you really love things that are beautiful whether you might have really beautiful hair and choose to focus on that but having like a focus point on your favorite feature whether that's your lips whether it's your eyes whether it's your hair and 
really going in on that one feature and that being like the focus of your appearance so if you have really beautiful eyes having pretty eyeliner or doing nice eye makeup or if you like your lips then doing nice lipstick and whatever it may be if you have beautiful hair then focusing in on your hair and just focusing on your favorite features and really bringing attention to that whatever that might be because <laughs> we're all different and that's the thing that's the beautiful thing i think we should be the most beautiful version of ourselves and not try to be like anyone else then there's also your body routine so things like working out or whatever your body goals are and honestly i think that's a beautiful thing is to work towards your own body goals not going by what the beauty standard tells you to be like it's like damn the beauty standards are constantly changing and one minute there's this whole slim thick body that's been promoted and now it's like skinny and kim kardashian's getting a bbl removed or whatever <laughs> whatever happened there i don't know and it's just like work towards your own body goals not what everyone's telling you what you should look like but what you want to look like and how you'd like your own body to look so if you want to lose weight for example is like doing more cardio or if you want to build muscle is strength training learning about weights and learning about you know progressive overload and eating a lot of protein just looking into what you want your body to look like and how you can get there making a plan of how you can get there and really enjoying the process yeah i think the main thing is just focusing on your most beautiful features and bringing them out and having a plan to become the best version of yourself imagine what does the best version of yourself look like maybe you want to grow your hair out maybe you want to get it cut i don't know whatever that looks like to you just try and visualize that and think what can i do to get there and not thinking about what everyone else is doing but what you can do how can you curate your skincare routine to be personal to you whether you have different skin goals whether you have a different skin type doing different things for your own skin and what's your own hair type you know everyone has different hair some of us have more oily hair some of us have more dry hair some of us have more coarse hair or thin hair and curating that to your own self instead of following all these different trends same with like style and what sort of clothes look good on you because i know there's like a big style of cargo jeans and things and you know very baggy clothes and i tried wearing them and they just completely drowned me out because i'm only four foot eleven so like there's a meme i'll probably put it up somewhere that's how i felt when you start wearing things that flatter your own body whether that's more you know even though they're seen as like millennial and old nowadays skinny jeans if they suit you and they suit your body type why not pull them off just whatever you like whatever you want and you feel most confident and comfortable in at the end of the day the beauty standards are there to make a profit off you and it's up to you whether you want to become the best version of yourself honor your own genetic lineage and you know have self-care curated to your own self or you want to just pay into this to try and feel confident but actually just feeling like someone else so yeah thank you so much for watching if you have any questions regarding anything that i've mentioned today just let me know and i'd love to help but yeah take care bye